Hey guys, Lester, and welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the channel, and more specifically, another Twilight Forest mod part piece review thingy. Anyway, if you missed last time, we went over the Alpha Yeti, and I must said Alpha King, the Alpha Yeti and his little dungeon over there. So today we are talking about the next biome in our progression, because I'm going over everything in Twilight Forest in the progression system as is listed on the wiki page. So if you scroll down in this video, you will find a link to the specific part that I'm reviewing today, that being the glacier. So I'm not sure if this actually is called a, it is a biome itself. So this is the glacier biome in Twilight Forest. It is home to a ton of penguins. Penguins? <laughs> penguins. Anyway, glaciers are gigantic slabs of ice that are several hundred meters wide and long and several dozen meters tall. I like how we're getting info about this. The ice is easily spotted through the snowy forest, which is that. Um, towering as high as the fir trees surrounding it and... It is little wonder that the only life to be found on these bitter cold conditions is the colonies of penguins. So let me just open that tab really quickly for the penguins. So penguins live in the great numbers of the glaciers and drop feathers when killed. I'm not going to kill any of them because they're adorable. I will punch one. Anyway, uh, penguins are shy creatures and will attempt to gather themselves into groups, meaning that they will not move from their spot. Unlike chickens, penguins are bred with raw fish. breed perfect all right um that's all there is to talk about the penguins anyway uh the, the, the though where they get their food from is such as bare conditions is a mystery perhaps better left to other more qualified explorers what the heck that's like their excuse of we don't know why we put them here but they're here uh adventures traversing the ice can Expect to find the forbidden, for for forbidding and dangerous Aurora Palace, which is this beautiful th structure right here with still wood for doors. We'll talk about that. Uh, standing proud and with a haunting beauty with its ever shifting kaleidoscope of colors. So yeah, these are the uh, very specific Aurora blocks. They literally change color as you move. Like the one in my hand is changing color. Uh, they're very beautiful blocks. We're not going to be going over this structure. This is going to be next video. Because I told you guys today we were just going over the, you know, the glacier. So in terms of progression, it says, Although defeating the Twilight Lich will lift the blizzard howling through the snowy firs, it seems, if anything, even more ferocious on top of the glacier itself. Adventurers who defeat the Alpha Yeti, who we defeated last video, will find that just touching its uh, downy fur will transfer a portion of the magical power from the fur to themselves, dispelling the winds and leaving the palace open for exploration. So yeah, for those who don't know, uh, way back in the day in Twilight Forest, this was like the area that was like the first work in progress. Uh, right now, I don't believe it is anymore. However, there's still these birch planks that I don't know if they're actually supposed to be here still. But like I said, we're not going over the palace yet. I, I just wanted to say this is like the point where they initially stopped progressing their mod and they just were like, this is it. This is endgame done. Um, of course, we'll get to the, the full, full endgame once we get to it. Um, and spoilers, it's still not complete yet. Also, shouts to the random cross that generates occasionally. Um, that being said though, that is going to do it for this video. There's really nothing to talk about the glaciers, uh, except for in their most recent, recent update for it, they added other mobs will no longer spawn on the glacier. I don't know at what point that was done, but apparently at some point it was a thing. Either way, like I said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider smashing the like button, share, support, subscribe if you're new. And if you're a real OG fan and you want to support me even more, I do have a membership page on channel. Feel free to check that out for as little as $1.99 a month. You can help support me and get a cool badge next stream anytime you comment. Or if you're in my live streams or premiere videos, you can use custom emojis. I think you can also use the emojis in the comments now as well. So again, feel free to check it out if you guys would like to help support me more. Either way, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great day. Stay safe. Goodbye.